Hello and welcome to the Congo Hour. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Trippy. Joined tonight uh, by my co-host Wayna. We have uh, three interviews tonight, Wayna. We have uh, Priest is coming on to talk about his uh, his upcoming play, Mama's Boy, right? Yes. I'm not sure what number play this is for Priest. Do you I know? I don't know. He'll tell us. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure he will. That's coming up uh, this month. Yeah. Was it next? This month? Okay. And then we have uh, County Councilman Penrose Hollins. Yeah. He's coming on to talk about his run for um, uh, County Council President. Mm -hmm. We had him on a few weeks ago, but uh, we told him that he would uh, be able to come back uh, as soon as possible so that he, we could continue the interview. That's when my dad came and just took up all the time and threw everybody's schedule off. <laughs> so we had to reschedule like the whole show. So he's back just to share some more information oh, that's about funny. why he should be the next County Council President. <laughs> And first, we have um, um, Shane. Shane is here. He's yeah. coming to talk about the 10-year anniversary of his Praise Cafe. And then at the end of the show, we'll have our funeral announcements and we'll have some community news. All right. All right. You know, we got to talk about our um, community cleanup. I know we talked about it yes. a little earlier today. We have to figure out the date. I got it. You got If you're okay with what I suggested. Mm -hmm. Okay, then that's what we're going to do. Okay, so what's I the date? I'll give the date when we come back. Okay. I have to look on my phone. Okay, all right. So stay tuned to hear about our annual community cleanup and uh, how you can be a part of it and how you can uh, get to go to Clementon Park the following day, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Welcome to the show, Shane. Um, Thanks, Chris, Shane. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So what's going on? Well, it's been 10 years. It's, it's hard to believe time flies. Yeah, congratulations, man. On this tent yeah. cafe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're kicking it off this year on Saturday, June 18th, next Saturday, with a concert. Okay. Bringing uh, all types of talent from the tri-state area. So what, what is the, the Praise Cafe? Well, it's a uh, kind of like an outlet, a, a program for those artists out there who can um, present their craft no matter what it is. Uh, okay. Whether it's uh, singing, rapping, uh, spoken word, praise mm -hmm. dancing, you know what I mean, religiously, we just give them a platform so they can present it to uh, their peers, group of their peers. Okay. And we also, uh, recently we added the vendors they've been a big part of it also. So people mm -hmm. who have uh, small businesses can come in and vend, and I even give them a platform you know, to, to network with other people. And also I let them come up on stage and talk about what they're vending. Okay. Instead of some, having somebody talk about them, who can show the excitement more than the vendor themselves? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then we have giveaways, then we just have a good time. The go concert, giveaways, and start on time, end on time. <laughs> when, and when is start it? Start on time. Start on time. I we'll love start, that. Uh, next Saturday the 18th, <laughs> 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Really, by 9.30, we'll probably be uh, saying goodnight. Is okay. there a cost? No, free. Free? Free 99, as I say. Free, <laughs> free 99. It, where's it going to be? At the Victoria Faith Christian Worship Center on 8th and Washington. Okay. 501 West 8th Street, for those who are technical. All right. And are you still open for um, people who may want to come and vend? Or absolutely. Absolutely. Be a we, part have, of the we have about five more concert? spots to vend. You have a small okay. business. It's a $50 vending fee. But it'd be worth it because the networking that you do, you know, just keep that business thriving. Mm -hmm. What do people want to come and perform? Are there still spots available? Uh, I bet that's all filled up. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay, I can't. Right. Oh, but, but this is just the <laughs> kickoff for 2016. Okay. We're going to do this more and more. We're going to travel. So those are inspiring artists, whatever you may be, you can travel with us when we mm -hmm. go to different states. Okay. Do you want to talk about a few of your feature artists? Absolutely. First of all, our premier artist is coming from D.C., Body of Evidence. They do gospel go-go. Nobody oh, down here wow. heard that before. Uh, yeah, they come in, it's, cool. it's completely different. Mm -hmm. Not like EU, but it's, right, you, know, it's, right. you know what I mean? But they're bringing their own band. I mean, they really, it's, it's something you've never seen before. You really mm -hmm. got to come and witness it. Then we have Miss Deona Gale. She's from Jersey. She's that soulful gospel sound. We have Mr. Ricardo Crockett. He's the international pr um, praiser, kind of that reggae type of sound. We have Mr. Duke Toler, track gorilla out of Chester with his one body in Christ. We have Miss Ebony Wilmore. You know, she's at the spoken word. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Shane Day, new inspiring uh, gospel, uh, what do we call her? The future of urban and contemporary gospel. We have Vessels of Praise, straight out of the Resurrection Center, Praise Dance Ministry. Mr. Changing Times, doing the soulful gospel. Mr. Jay Quest, doing the soulful gospel. And following Mr. Isaiah Rivera, doing rap. I see, well, you, you gotta start on time. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, oh, that's why we can't that. add anybody else. Yeah. People call me and say, ah, not this show. Sorry. That's good though. Yeah, it is. Very good. And you said, again, you said it's free. Yes, free ninety nine. All right, free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. What the is the princess. free ninety nine? <laughs> that means free, just free. Yeah, you know I mean, mean. Oh, okay. I like, don't the, know. like the younger right. generation, yeah. we kind of get right, it. Right, right. You know, right. so just, just you know, keep up, 
keep up with us. All right, three ninety nine. You get it? Yeah. All confused. <laughs> it's not ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. Three ninety nine is free. Ninety nine cents. I'm gonna be quiet. Uh, please. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> You're welcome. And then we have one more artist, the Praise Princess. She gave me a call. She's a local artist, and she's okay. gonna be doing her little Jill Scott type of praise. You know what I mean? That sounds nice. All right. So in addition, she'll be doing it. Just in case somebody happens to call up, you know, not make it. Mm -hmm. But either way, if everybody is there, she'll still get her spot. So if people want to come and vent, what number can they reach you? How can reach, they reach you? Reach me at 302-276-3188. That's 302-276-3188 if you want to vent for this event. We have about five vending spots left, $50 to vent. Okay. And if you didn't get Shane's number, just give us a call at the funeral home and we'll make sure that we connect you so you can be a part of the 10th um, anniversary of uh, Praise Cafe this Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. Oh, I know, 8th Saturday, in Washington? June, yes. All right. Saturday, June 18th. Come on out. And besides the artists and the vendors, you come out. We want to see you there, too. Come on out. We want to pack the house up, pack the church out. Okay. And what time does it start again? 7 p.m. promptly. Okay. It might be 6.59 and 58 seconds. The news is going to start rolling. <laughs> you know Lights what? going down. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be quiet now because this is the time where I usually say, you know, if you want to give any shout outs, and Wayne gets on me for doing that. But do you want to give any shout outs? Before we um, before we go to break, <laughs> good shout out to God, you know, for making this happen. He gave me this vision ten yeah, years ago. Why would ago. you want to stop him from shouting out God, Lena? <laughs> I don't understand why you want to do that. He gave me this vision like 11, 12 years thank ago. You, Shane. Put it together, thank you, you know, give it to God. God. You know what I mean? And just everybody's been there supporting me. You know, just we're just gonna make this happen. We're gonna keep it moving. We're yeah, keep, keep it moving, moving man. On. People like Wayne try to suppress you and trying to. <laughs> You're trying to give you a thanks to God, and we don't want you to get. We don't want you to do that, but I'm glad you did that, man. So, so we'll see you Saturday. Wow, true. All right, really? all right, we're going. We're going to take a, uh, a quick break, and we'll be right back with um, Penrose House. Yes. All right, we'll be right back. I want to fight tonight, Wayna. Who's coming on next? Um, council person, soon to be council president, Penrose Hollins. All right. Welcome well, back. Well, yeah, welcome back. Well, thank you for having me back. Right. You're we welcome. Appreciate you coming, man. Thanks for your patience. Absolutely, absolutely. All yeah. right. So where were we when we were talking before? <laughs> we were talking about your your campaign uh, and. But if you don't uh, mind, can we like me. rewind? Because it might be somebody that didn't watch that particular That's true. Sunday. That's true. All right. Am so, I supposed to remember that two minutes? Yes. <laughs> oh wow! I, I think he just gave us a little cheap oh. shot. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was like a that. good one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ne wow. coming up next is going to be um, <laughs> priest talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, just talk, take us back from well, uh, you know from day one. Actually, uh, we started uh, about uh, my campaign. Uh, okay. Talk a little bit about the um, the what we call the infrastructure of the campaign, where we are with the campaign, and where we plan to go with the campaign. Uh, so basically, that was just a basis. Uh, it was my first time to be on television to talk about the campaign at okay. all. Uh, so one of the things I think that uh, I accomplished and I thank you for is the fact that uh, I was able to be here to at least let those people who watch uh, the Congo Hour, which are many, to know that I am in fact running. So mm -hmm. that's pretty much uh, where we got with that. Uh, okay. And I think now the campaign has become more visible uh, mm -hmm. since that time. Uh, so you have those beautiful lawn were. signs out now? I know you well, were talking about Yes, uh, we <laughs> have lawn signs out now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the buses out now. Okay. The buses were scheduled to begin on Friday. I believe they are running. Uh, and going forward, you would see uh, more of the signs on commercial properties and those types of things. What and I'll be on the Congo. Oh, of course. More, yes, sir. As well, yes, so. sir. It sounds like a <laughs> demand. <laughs> it does. As a matter and of that, fact. And that'll be fine. What, what made you want to run for uh, council president? Well, actually, um, I had no intention of running for president of the county council personally. Mm -hmm. I still have uh, two years left on my term. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was encouraged by so many people across Newcastle County, a broad sector of Newcastle County residents, including most of my colleagues, uh, encouraged me to run for the office uh, when it became clear to council that the current president was not going to seek re-election. Right. So it wasn't something that I had planned, say, you know, six, eight, nine months out. But with the encouragement that I received from so many people, it almost became duty bound for me to seek this office and uh, something that I feel that I'm prepared to do. And we've been pretty successful to this point in the campaign. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I appreciate about you is that you've been, um, you've been pushing for housing for quite some time, correct? Yeah, um, affordable housing and fair housing is pretty much the foundation of my political career. Uh, that's for a reason. Uh, a lot of people talk about the economy. 
but uh, housing really drives our economy. Mm -hmm. And what it means to individual families, it is the beginning of wealth for middle income families. So uh, when we talk about housing, it's more than just uh, housing. It means the economy, the economy of this nation. It means for middle class Americans that they're beginning to reach the American dream, not only through a uh, process of owning a home, but for building wealth. So uh, what I was able to do when I came to Newcastle County government, there was no housing committee. I created the housing committee. Shortly after that, I created the down payment settlement help program. Uh, that program to date has provided over 600 families in Newcastle County with first time home buyer opportunities. In addition to that, uh, I was able to go to one of our banks and encourage them to also provide for grant to Newcastle County to actually uh, help with uh, first time home buyers. And that program has produced over 100 uh, families in Newcastle County for first time home buyers. So with the two, two programs combined, uh, we have assisted over 600, over 750 families in Newcastle County for first time home buyers. So it's critical to our economy, it's critical to families. Mm -hmm. uh, I've served for five years uh, with Habitat for Humanity, providing uh, housing opportunities for deserving low income families. And uh, housing uh, really is the backbone of our economy, but for the black community in particular, uh, housing is 98% of the economy in the black community. The black community's wealth is really in housing. For the white community, it's 58% of the wealth. So when this country experienced the housing mm -hmm. letdown in 2008, mm -hmm. it pretty much devastated a lot of urban America because that's where uh, the wealth was, the building of wealth. So it allows people to uh, take the, uh, the proceeds from your home ownership uh, to send your kids to college, mm -hmm. to start a business. Uh, it puts you on a path of, of gaining wealth. When you talk about uh, fair housing, what do you mean when you say fair housing, just for people out there? Who fair know. housing uh, is um, housing uh, available to uh, people depending upon where their income is. So okay. fair housing is going to differ uh, depending upon your income. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you look at the HUD standards, you should not, no one should have to spend over 33% of their income for their housing needs. So if you spend over 33% of your income for housing needs, then you are housing poor. It means that we as a government should be responsible for providing home ownership for everybody at every level of their income in Newcastle County, not just for a certain segment of the economy. Mm -hmm. So with housing, what I've done uh, with the uh, housing legislation, I've also created uh, what we call the housing trust fund. Uh, that fund is for people who may not necessarily uh, want to own a home or maybe can't afford to meet the banking criteria, but it helps those people where we actually partner with other providers uh, through the housing uh, trust fund to help those people who are what we consider low income. Uh, the most recent legislation that I passed uh, has to deal with uh, moderate income, middle and moderate income people, and that's what is called inclusionary zoning in Newcastle County. Now, any rezoning that occurs, uh, you're required by law to have inclusionary zoning to make certain that people of different incomes will be able to live in every sector of Newcastle County. Uh, before that, uh, we were at a point before 2008 where housing were reaching, uh, most housing in Newcastle County had reached a threshold of over $400,000, which left out uh, the vast majority of Newcastle County residents. That is not to be anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. So fair housing is making certain, uh, the <coughs> simple way to say it is making certain that no one in Newcastle County uh, should be uh, house poor because they have to pay too much of their mm -hmm. income uh, for housing needs. And we've also addressed the needs of veterans, which is a special group, mm -hmm. which the federal government has also uh, been very much involved with. And County Executive Tom Gordon has been one of the uh, executives from across this country who uh, addressed uh, the call from uh, First Lady Obama to deal with the special issue of veterans' mm -hmm. needs. And how can people help with your campaign? Uh, people can help with my campaign. Um, First of all, to be in tune with the campaign mm -hmm. and to pay close attention to what candidates are saying. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that happens in a political season uh, is that candidates will say a lot of different things. Right. Uh, and oftentimes people have no way of verifying what the candidates are saying. Mm -hmm. uh, for my campaign in particular, uh, I want people to pay attention. I want people to confirm what I am saying. Uh, I think the purpose of politics is not just to defeat your opponent. Uh, the purpose of politics, more importantly, is to give the residents of any given jurisdiction the opportunity to select the best leader mm -hmm. for that position. And I can say that for this position, I am the only candidate uh, who has a record, 
uh, a record that uh, to stand on that I'm very proud of. I'm the only candidate uh, for this position uh, that has legislative experience, uh, leadership le legislative experience. Uh, I've been the president pro tem of the county council for the last 20 years. Uh, it means that uh, my colleagues uh, on county council has had the confidence in me uh, to uh, select me for the last 20 years consecutively uh, to be the president pro tem, which is another way of saying the vice president. Mm -hmm. So those people who want to assist me, uh, obviously we would love to give them a lawn sign. Uh, we uh, obviously want them to participate in the primary on September 13th. I know there's a lot of people in Delaware who feel proud that they don't vote in the primaries. But if you don't vote in the primaries, right. you're losing out and you're allowing other people to make a decision for you. Right. In a lot of races in the state of Delaware, uh, the primary uh, is in fact the election. So in the state of Delaware, uh, if you are an independent, as an example, you cannot participate uh, in a primary. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage people to pay very close attention and to make certain that you understand uh, the laws here in Delaware. But the big date is September 13th. I encourage people to be in tune uh, with my campaign, uh, to call me. I am listed. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people uh, Facebook me, like, what is your phone number? <laughs> I'm listed. I'm an elected official. Mm -hmm. And I know some people feel that, well, listed, what does that mean? <laughs> it simply means that if you <laughs> 411 and, and mm -hmm. ask for me, you, you're going to get me. I have an office downtown, obviously. And uh, I have a fundraiser, as a matter of fact, on the 23rd uh, at the riverfront. Uh, so uh, that's another way uh, people can support the campaign. Where is your fundraiser going to be? It's going to be at Timothy's on the Riverfront mm -hmm. on okay. June 23rd uh, from 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. Okay, very good. And what's your contact number? Uh, my number is 764-9474, area code 302-764-9474. I am on Facebook and uh, you can reach me uh, by email at penrose at phollins.com. All right, thank you. Was there anything that um, Trippy or I didn't ask that you want to um, get across? The show doesn't last that long, so. Now, we I do have time. time. We do have time. We have a few want. more minutes. Yeah, we do. Well, uh, I think that uh, <clears throat> we touched on the economy uh, a little bit uh, because I believe that housing is pretty much the uh, backdrop for the, co the economy for this mm -hmm. nation mm -hmm. and for individual families. Uh, but when you talk about the economy, and people do throw that word around very loosely when they're talking about it, and oftentimes people don't understand jurisdictional responsibilities, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the economy is not something new to me, uh, just because this is an election season. Uh, I can tell you uh, when uh, I responded to the, um, the federal government re recovery zone bond financing, uh, which was a way to help uh, lift people out of poverty, uh, people that have been hit very hard by the downturn in the economy, uh, people who've been hit the most by the uh, foreclosure uh, crisis. Um, when Petanero Company decided to renovate uh, the uh, old uh, courthouse downtown, Wilmington on Rodney Square, they came to Newcastle County for what we call reserve recovery zone bond financing. Uh, they wanted $28 million. Uh, this is a federal program that uh, you need to understand how it works and the purpose of the program. Uh, that's when I was able to uh, say to Petanero that uh, I supported the recovery and I supported the $28 million bond, but it seems to me the intent of that was to make certain that it reached the people that had been hurt the most mm -hmm. by the economy. Uh, and we went back and forth and county council agreed with me. We held up on that $28 million bond until Petanero came to us with a diversity package. Okay. Uh, and that diversity package uh, required them to hire city residents to hire minorities because that's the intent of the legislation. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're going to do recovery uh, right on Rodney Square, which mm -hmm. is the front door of the east side of Wilmington, mm -hmm. and you're not going to benefit people who live on the east side of Wilmington, right. that's contrary to the federal uh, intent. Uh, the fact of the matter is I just met with uh, one of the uh, leading uh, uh, managers at uh, Pet and Arrow just on was it Wednesday evening, Thursday evening, and uh, he really was very grateful of that relationship and he said to me that you really don't understand the impact it had on our company and on our industry. That same year Pet and Arrow went on to become the ABC Diversity uh, Company of the Year. Uh, mm -hmm. When you were to look at, if you were to look at uh, the, um, the Delaware Board of Trade, uh, which is my legislation, uh, that uh, is going to bring the stock exchange to Wilmington. It's almost near mm -hmm. up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when you talk about the economy, it has to be something behind just to talk. Uh, right. We have created for the first time in Newcastle County government, uh, we have created uh, an economic development 
uh, fund, uh, that I'm the co-sponsor of that fund. Uh, a lot of people uh, have some concern about the county government coming front uh, with uh, the DuPont company to try to retain jobs here mm -hmm. in Newcastle County. Not only did we retain the jobs that most people thought that we would, but we went even further than that because now the ag business, which no one thought would be in Delaware, uh, is going to retain here. And what a lot of people don't understand is that to allow DuPont to move away without challenging other jurisdictions, uh, it means that our school districts would take a severe hit. Mm -hmm. People who work at DuPont uh, from their salaries mm -hmm. contribute tremendously to school taxes. Right. Uh, the DuPont company itself, if you were to take uh, four of their prime locations in here in Newcastle County, contributes over $8 million annually to our mm -hmm. school district. So when you look at the total economy and understanding of the economy and what it means not to compete <coughs> to create high paying jobs, you're doing yourself a disservice. Mm -hmm. If you look at what happened in Seaford, Delaware, when DuPont moved away, it essentially robbed the town of all of its economy. It killed the school districts. Uh, it killed all of the other services. So it's, it's a benefit to all of us to have a strong economy. And I think that everybody wants to talk about it now. Mm -hmm. Even when we talk about the port, I think there's been mm -hmm. no other greater leader to, for the expansion of the port in the state of Delaware uh, than the county executive, Tom Gordon. Uh, I mm -hmm. was one of the sponsors of the legislation that provided for the county's funds to make certain that we would do the assessment of the River's Edge project. So all of those things coming together, and some folk would have you tell you that the county government is not engaged with um, economic development. And if you didn't know any better, you tend to believe that. But in our, uh, in our capital uh, campaign, in our capital fund budget for this year, that's $4 million uh, for sewer infrastructure to make certain that we can incentivize uh, corporations, uh, industry to come to uh, industrial zones, uh, specifically around the Delaware City area, where it would not impact negatively on a residential neighborhood. So we don't do that if we're not trying to incentivize uh, more businesses mm -hmm. and more companies to come to Newcastle County. Right. Very good. I'm, I'm very glad that we, that LAPA is still around because, like you said, people talk and, you know, they read yeah. or, and you're here to um, definitely yeah. explain what's going on. So That's to right. me, viewing audience, it's like a no-brainer <laughs> mm -hmm. to vote for Penrose Highlands Definitely. for council president. <laughs> Thank you so very much. You're Thank welcome. You for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just give us your uh, contact information one more time. Uh, reach me by telephone at area code 302-764-9474 and email me at penrose at phollands.com. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you all very much. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for all this time. You see? So generous. All right. I mean, you used it up until the 13th. <laughs> so we'll see you on that. We'll see you. Yeah, we'll see, see you that on following Sunday. Yeah, we'll see you that following <laughs> Sunday. So you can thank everybody. All right. <laughs> we're we're going to take a, uh, a really quick break, and we'll be right back with Priest to talk about his play. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Welcome back. We hope that you have enjoyed the show so far. If you ever want to be a part of the Congo Hour, you can uh, reach out to Wena on mm -hmm. Facebook. Uh, you can call her or text her at uh, 521 7325. 521-7325. We do ask that you just um, give at least, what, four weeks? Four, uh, four to six five? To six, eight six, six to eight weeks. Yeah. Uh, if you're having an event, try to um, schedule with Wena at least six to eight weeks before the event. I know we're pretty booked up through um, up until the election, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, you can always get, try to get on the schedule, but I know we're uh, up, up until September 13th. We're pretty booked with all the different candidates and things that are happening uh, throughout the summer. But please try to give us at least six to eight weeks um, uh, if you, before your event if you want to come on and talk right. about it. And should be on that note for community announcements, mm -hmm. if you would be so kind and make sure we get it at least Thursday for the week that you want yeah, it read, true. that would be very helpful as well. Yep. All right. Okay. Right now we're going to have a great friend of our show, uh, Mr. Priest. He's coming to talk about his new play, uh, Mama's Boy. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome back. He said great friend of the show. Like, there's nothing <laughs> personal here. Like, we, not, we were I friends mean, outside of the I show. Mean, oh, so when is the play? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about this after the show, right? <laughs> Thanks for having me. First, yeah, I want to I wanna apologize about my attire. You know, the last guy that was here, he was rather sharp. <laughs> so are you. So I come here with a $2 T-shirt. No, I mean, I think people are used to seeing you. 
<laughs> like that. So it's you not know why? Because they used to be working. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> well, that's it's not Congo. So <laughs> I got to work for a living. That's My nails aren't manicured. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Your huh? hair is cut uh, really nice. <laughs> thanks, man. I, I yes, try to keep it trimmed up. <laughs> so tell us about, um, you know, before we go into the play, let's talk about your background with plays and how you got started in plays. And just tell us about your journey. It's definitely been a journey. Um, mm -hmm. I got started in 2007, and my first play was uh, Tears of a Teenage Mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, that particular show was, that was just a play that I wrote about my mother's life. And right. it wasn't, I, I didn't look at it as a, a career or anything. It was just something to honor her life because mm -hmm. she had two kids by the age of 15. And when we did the show, I never forget coming out of the Delaware Theater and seeing Sold Out. You know, so I was like, wow, we sold out, you know, the first show. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, after the show, you know, we thought we were just going to leave. And there was a bunch of people there asking <laughs> for my autograph. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you need my autograph for? I live right around the corner for Yeah, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> 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 What's that all about? <laughs> you asked me to tell my story. I'm you sorry. keep chiming I'm in, sorry, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. Um, but just, you know, like I said, that was 2007. I think this is uh, my ninth play. And, um, you know, it's been it's been a journey, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's been, you know, we've had ups and downs and, you know, some doors closed on us, but it's, it's supposed to be hard. Right. You know, if you continue pressing forward, mm -hmm. it, it has to the doors have mm -hmm. to open up for you. Right. right. And you were, go ahead. you were on tour. Yes. Yes. Yeah, with Mrs. That. Independent. Mm -hmm. um, we did like 24, 25 cities okay. um, in 2000. I want to say 13. No, 2014. Mm -hmm. um, we did the show and a promoter out of Los Angeles came down to see it mm -hmm. and um, and he loved it and he took us to the Marion Theater and he said if we do well at the Marion Theater then he would take us take us across the country and in that particular show that particular show we had like 6,000 people come out wow. so we've 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 toured the show the country man and mm -hmm. God has definitely been good to us who are some of the um, I guess the the, um, the well-known actors and actresses that, that, that have been a part of your play um, we place. had Robin Givens, mm -hmm. she played my wife, uh, Christopher Williams, Shirley Murdoch, uh, Dottie Peoples, Tony Grant, uh, Debbie Morgan, Clifton Powell, Dave Hollister, like all the people we grew up listening mm -hmm. to and watching to, to now have That's them awesome. in our shows, it's like it's hard for me to be the writer and director and I'm trying to watch and learn from them at the same mm -hmm. time, try to make it seem as if I've been doing this for years, <laughs> <laughs> but I really haven't. That's yeah, alright, so Mama's Boy. Yes. Tell us about that. Mama's boy is uh, is pretty self-explanatory, and a lot of us men don't want to accept the fact that we are mama's boys. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the youngest of three. My mother had three boys, and um, I was spoiled. I, you know, I, I, I accept that. Um, but today, what it what it talks about in the show is what happens when the mother doesn't allow the boy to grow up to be a man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I know uh, I have a friend of mine who lives at home with his mother. And he's like 43 years old. Mm -hmm. And when you ask him, he says, you know, I don't, you know, my mother, I don't live with my mother. My mother lives with me. You know, that's the story. Mm -hmm. But you're in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's trying to be nice with you. He didn't want to put his mom in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> she wants her laundry room back. <laughs> so, so it's, it's just, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah, you know, he got his, 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 uh, his uh, stereo lamps <laughs> on, on the washer and dryer. He's using his nice stereo stairs. set up. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, this is definitely <laughs> my most entertaining play. Uh -huh. it's, it's funny, you know, it, it has a message because believe it or not, I play a police officer okay. on the show and I'm trying to bridge the gap between police officers and, you know, the black race, the Hispanic race, because the police officers get a bad rap. Uh -huh. So I wanted to, to show their side of it. All right. And then I talked to a couple cop friends of mine and they gave me their perspective on it and, you know, I just got the writing and uh -huh. here we are with Mama's Boy. So when is it? It's actually June 25th and 26th okay. at the Grand Opera House, and that's in two weeks. We have two shows on that Saturday, which is, um, we have a show at 3.30 and a show at 8.30. And then on that Sunday, we have a show at 5 o'clock. All right, right now we have your, uh, your graphics up. I see you have some, some new and some uh, familiar faces. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I see you have, um, is that Jack A? Jack A, yes. Yeah. She, <laughs> she is just the same way she was on 227. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, we, had a table, we had a table read uh, the other day, which was over the phone, and she is so funny. Mm -hmm. I said, so she asked me, she said, do I have the ability to ad-lib? 
And I said, definitely. Yeah. I she went, I'm right? telling you, we couldn't get through it. She was so <laughs> funny. It was so funny. <laughs> yes. how, how do you come in contact with some of those um, stars? Um, well, social media, man. That, yeah. you, can, you can get in touch with right. anybody on mm -hmm. social media. But because I've worked with so many different people, right. like I called Miss Shirley and she said, uh, I said, can you get with little G from Silk? And she said, definitely. Mm -hmm. So she got right on the phone, called him, connected us. Mm -hmm. and I said, hey, I would love to have you on the show. And then uh, Tony Grant got in touch with Jack A. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, you know, if you know people and you're good mm -hmm. to people, it just, you know, it's, it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not hard at all. May I ask a question? Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to be nice. I'm, I'm going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that I like that you do, Priest, is that all of your plays, you start here at home. Yes. So. Yes. I, it, <clears throat> because my foundation was built here. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been so lenient toward my mistakes that I made as a playwright. That's true. Because <laughs> <laughs> <That's cool>. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even come. <laughs> have you been to one? I have. One. You did come to you said, one. She asked me, you said, have I been to one? Yes, been I to said, one. yes. <laughs> Which one was it? Um, it was at um, Mount Pleasant. It was, it was at Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See? <laughs> So yeah. I'm, happy. I'm coming to this one too. That's I, might, what I, mean. yeah, I might just try to get the like the, the bootleg or something. <laughs> <laughs> I might get somebody going there and record it for me and watch it at home. Let's talk about um, the price of your tickets. Um, we actually have three different prices. Well, let me even say this. One th one thing a person asked me uh, the other day, and this is this was a way for me to know that I've grown. He said, uh, "It's not going to be four hours, is it?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I remember wait, that. Wait, oh wait. my goodness. I'm going. I'm gonna call Oof. her out. Our friend, Dr. Sharita Carroll. Uh -huh. I said, Priest is having another play. You want to go with me? She was like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> See, that's what happened to me. I was like, I was traumatized. <laughs> I had to use a bathroom. You know what I mean? Your ushers wouldn't let me out. Use a bathroom. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I, I, it was five hours. I know. Hey, listen, I, I'll be the first. That's to before tell you. the mission. <laughs> I'll be the I first to here. tell you. Listen, I didn't go to school for this. Right. You know, I just picked up an ink pen, the pad, and just started writing. But I, I got it down. I All right, it down. I got All it right. down. I got it down to a science because when you're on a road. You know, the longer you're on that stage, the more money you got to dish out <laughs> right. to the right, union right. guy. Mm -hmm. Right. So, okay. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I learned. I learned mm -hmm. a lot from being out there. I'm, I'm pretty sure the same with you, Trip. Here we you go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's just be nice. We, we are being nice. Just, but, you know, if you fired me, I got fired back at you, man. Because the minute I walk out that door, they say, why you ain't getting back? <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. So how can people get tickets? Well, Several different ways. You okay. can either go to the Grand Opera House, which is down on, uh, I think, 818 North Market Street. You can call 302-729-2121. You can go Say to the website. Say that number again because you said that real fast. Okay. 302-729-2121. Uh, you can visit us on the web at the website, which is mamasboytheplay.com. Uh, you can stop one of the vans that you see running around town. Mm -hmm. You know, we got flyers, and, uh, you know, we can direct you right to the Grand. Wait. Um, his son, Little Priest, mm -hmm. is now I call him Little Big Priest because he's driving the van right. now, right? <laughs> oh, my. is he? Yes. Ain't that crazy? Oh, man, yeah. that's all right. Yes. I was just going to ask you about him, believe it or not. Yeah. How, how old is he now? 17. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 17. Man. God. How old was he when you first started writing plays? Because uh, he's been in your plays, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, he's been in the plays. I think it was probably six, six uh, or seven. Yeah. And the oh, funny man, thing is I got right. pictures of him for every show and you can see like he starts here at my uh -huh. head then he's up here you know he, he's you know he's growing with the show uh -huh. oh, he's growing man, with the show all right. all right so um you gave us the ways to get the tickets mm -hmm. we all, just just give us the information about the play one more time before we well, go to what i want to do i definitely i want to give away a couple tickets okay um let's so let's, that, let's, let's make like it six fun. like six of them well, usually when I give away 10, you guys buy them. So yeah, we delay no, on but yourself. today's not one of those days. So today's not one of those days. Okay, well, if, if, I, would, I would give you guys tickets, but Trippy says it's not one of those days. So you know how it is. So we're gonna give, <laughs> how are we, how we going to give them away? I don't, let's make it easy. Let's say, um, um, what was the name of the theater that I had my first production? For the first caller mm -hmm. that can tell me the name of the theater, theater that I had 
tears of a teenage mother. Okay. I give you two tickets. What number are they calling? The same number that you gave? Yes, us? 302-729-2121. So the first person who calls and tells me to name the theater that I have my first production. But okay. Do we have to give a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. No one that is a part of Priest yes. Tire Productions. Mm -hmm. No yes. one a part of Congo. Lapa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Right. All right. <laughs> and then we're gonna give away two more to make sure that you were watching. <laughs> and all right, um, there we go. We have I a winner. Got to put it on. Yeah, we have a winner. Good job, man. You're so. <laughs> yeah. I love your professionalism. That's what it is about you. You know. That's, I think that's. What, I think that's what keeps you at the top, man. Just. Dave, can you bring the phone, phone over? Because hey, maybe Miles, that person, you can put it on over. speaker. I know. Oh, well. You could just uh, hit the solid button. Mm. I, I apologize, oh, TV World. Is, <laughs> but <laughs> you could just hold it in your hand. If it rings again, just push that button on the side. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give away. Oh, that's only with tripping. We're gonna, we're gonna give last away. guy, he, he didn't go through that. <laughs> <At> all, <right. laughs> we're going to give away two more tickets uh, from the funeral home to make sure that you were watching the interview. If you can call give a few minutes before so priest can turn his phone off <laughs> um, to call and say um, where I saw my first my first um, priest tire production <laughs> um, what venue that was and and then you can win you can we will also win two tickets and the number again is three zero two seven two nine two one two one and right. on that note we probably need to break because the phone right. gonna be ringing all right <laughs> thank you for coming on thank you for having You're me welcome. All right. We'll be right back with our uh, funeral announcements and community news. Announcements, please call us at the funeral home if you have any questions. You can call us at 652-8887. Again, our number is 652-8887. And also, you can always go to our website to leave a condolence or for more uh, service information at www.congofuneralhome.com. Again, we want to thank you so much for watching the show. If you ever want to be a part, please call Wayna or text Wayna at uh, 5... Two one seven three two five five two one seven three two five. Thank you again, and God willing, we will see you next Sunday.